but yeah, okay. So, Cerebellum, after some of the quadratic stuff came about, math was lost on me. Yep, quadratic equation. We, I specifically remember, um, yeah, sines, cosines, and tangents. I thought those were kind of interesting. They were hard when I first picked up, but as I got later and later on. So what happened is I had problems once sine, cosine, and tangent were placed on triangles on a graph. But then someone, later on, they describe how it is actually used to give radii of a circle. And suddenly everything made sense to me. And that was really useful. But of course, that's really hard to explain. I need to make a picture for it. But yeah, the, I understand why quadratic stuff got lost on you. Suicude, I sucked at everything that I had to do with science, etc. But I aced through languages. Perfect scores on English, German, and Latin. And as I know, Suicude, you're learning Japanese. So you're a translator. So here's the plan. Suicude, you're a translator. I'll be, we'll be the ones that handle the money. We'll be the ones that do the math, do the business. You just make sure we can communicate and get the businesses across the world. You're a very important cog in this wheel, man. You're the, you're the translator. <laughs> All right. So, I only really, really talk to close friends about school stuff most of the time. Oh, I bet. I bet. Yep. Yeah, y, y equals MX plus B gives me PS, PTSD. Dude, it gives... So, this is the difference between us. It gives you PTSD. It gives me fond memories. Ah, Euclidean geometry. I swear if I, if I tell you about non-Euclidean geometry, if I just describe what non-Euclidean geometry is, like the, pr the precepts, how it occurred, your, br your mind will explode and you'll never feel, you'll never feel safe. <laughs> we must use Swinko to our advantage. He is the one, he is the one that isn't the math man. He is the one who understands. He is the voice to our br big brains. We need the great spirit. The great speech. Ooh. <laughs> he just types in a bunch of kanji. <laughs> uh. <laughs> yeah. All right. Well, I won't make your brains explode. If you're interested, after we do our next run, I'll make your brains explode on non-Euclidean geometry. But not right now. We let's get to our next run. Ah, uh, but this was a fun talk. I really enjoyed this talk. I bet it actually means something. You know what? I'm gonna put in Google Translate and see what comes out. So, bunch of garbled stuff, Japanese to English, because I know you're learning Japanese, not Mandarin or anything like that. Enter text. Thank you very much. Aww. Oh, I started my timer. Well, glad to hear it, man. Glad to hear it. All right. I'm yeah. So I'm assuming yes. One of I don't know which one. Um, I know there's like a bunch of things that like don't translate well between languages. Like for example, uh, if you listen to a lot of um, what are they called? A lot of the why can I not think of the name? Nintendo. A lot of the Nintendo um like press conferences and stuff. They'll say phrases like, please look forward to it, which is, it's really hard to translate because it's a phrasing in Japanese that apparently doesn't translate well to English, and that was just their best description of, please look forward to it. Hmm. Yoroshiku Onegeishimasu has no real translation. I have no idea. Oh, is that the phrase? That's the phrase that you're talking about. Yeah. 